This is Conference USA Basketball on ESPN Plus from Rice University in Houston, Texas. It's the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs and the Rice Owls. Alongside Nate Griffin, my name's Chris Mykoski. Nate, Rice off to its best start in nearly 20 years with some quality wins along the way. No question about it, Chris. Western Kentucky, also UTEP, and you get that done on the road. Rice has not lost at home. They are undefeated at home. I think that's a tall task to ask Louisiana Tech to come in here and win. When it comes to CUSA play so far for Tech, very different story at home versus on the road. Yeah, no question about it. They have not been good on the road. And you talk about quality wins. Again, they're trying to come into Tudor Fieldhouse and beat a team that has not lost at home. That, again, that, that's going to be tough. Louisiana Tech will need Isaiah Crawford to come up huge for them tonight, averaging 16 points per game over the last four contests. And 5.3 boards per game as well. You talk about forward U. That's what Louisiana Tech is. Malone, Millsap, also P.J. Brown, some big names. This guy wants to fill that load as well. For Rice, Travis Evie recently hitting a career milestone. He is the straw that stirs the drink. 1,000 point at Western Kentucky. Of course, Oliveri has been the guy who's got it done in terms of scoring. But Travis Evie, he's dependable. He's your senior. He's your leader. Still very early, and who knows if the prognosticators will be right in the end. But in preseason, Tech was picked to finish sixth, Rice seventh in Conference USA. Under a minute to go now. And I'm going to give the basket. Oh, Tech boy. Gets the ball back. That is a costly turnover. you got a freshman out there. That's a tough situation for him to be in. But he has played tremendous basketball. That's why he was... Freshman of the week last week. Need a big play now. Owls bearing down on defense. Kobe Williams. Over to Bullock. Now Willis. Willis off the mark. Rice can tie or take the lead this trip. You know, run their play. Coach Perry is not going to call a timeout. Boom. Oh! Fiedler there for the follow, and we're tied at 66. Fiedler comes up with a huge play right there, Chris, when he needed to be there in the position to get the rebound and just tip the ball right back in. Look at this. Oliveri attacking the basket, goes by Williams. Good move by Oliveri. Feeling the right place at the right time. Johnny on the spot, and you got a tie game. That ended a three-and-a-half-minute scoring Woo. route for Rice. Man, that was huge. That was a huge basket right there. And now it's Louisiana Tech when you look at the amount of time they've gone between putting points on the board. It's been 2 minutes 48 seconds for them. Yeah, it has been. Rice has played tremendous defense. Louisiana Tech has played tremendous defense. Now it's going to be up to Louisiana Tech to come up with a huge shot with 29.4 seconds remaining on the clock. And you know what kind of defense the Rice Owls are going to play suffocating. They'll go with that zone. Defense. Defense. 29.4 to go. They're going to look, They're gonna look for their shot. They're going to look for their shot. Because the game's tied. Shot clock is off. The Rice crowd as loud as they've been tonight, chanting defense. Trying to lift their team to a sixth consecutive win. Isaiah Crawford in the lane. Kicks He's it back out to Kobe now. Williams. This is Quandre Bullock for Louisiana Tech. Oh, my goodness. That was a huge shot. That was huge. They double teamed down low, and that left the man wide open at the three-point line, left wing, and he nails the shot. That was huge. Doesn't get much bigger than that, Chris. No, no. Quandre Bullock coming up. It is right. You see team. the double. And Williams, the presence of mind to get it off, that's a play. Scripted play, obviously. That plays in their book right there. And that was a huge shot that time by Bullock. 
Well, Coach Hester told us that it's been inconsistent as far as who has stepped up as one of the big players kind of beyond that key core. Quandre Bullock's been the guy sometimes. Sometimes it's been Mangum. Sometimes it's been Taron Williams. Bullock, though, that's one of the biggest shots of the season for Tech. Yeah, that's the that, biggest shot in his career, I'm pretty sure. You know, a game winner like that, uh, no question for him to get to Louisiana Tech, you have to be able to make shots like that in high school. But when you get to the high school, uh, excuse me, the college level, and you're making shots like that, especially against uh, a, a Rice team that's the best it's been in years, that's that's huge. You come on the road, you come to the field house, nice crowd here, and all of a sudden this guy is knocking down a shot that's changing the course, could change the course of their season. Well, will it be the game winner? Or will Rice match Louisiana Tech right here? They trail by three. 2.9 to get it down to go. Course. Yep. And La Tech will take a timeout after seeing the look that the Owls presented. Well, the Owls want to drop a play. They also want to see what kind of a defense Louisiana Tech was running at that point. And so uh, now Coach Perry's got to drop a play. They've got to be able to get the ball down in two point down the court in 2.9 seconds and get off a shot, a three-point shot, which is obviously less difficult than going to the basket. But and you got to have a three-point shot here. So it's got to be two passes, ball up. One timeout remains on each side. 2.9 seconds on the clock. A lot of things can happen here too, Chris. You know, you could have the shooter get fouled. Uh, you know, again, it's got to be two passes and ball gone. Sheffield will inbound. Baseball pass to midcourt. Feeler to Evie from distance to tie. Oh, 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 oh he my does goodness! It. <laughs> And we are heading to oh overtime in Houston. Oh, my goodness. That is unbelievable. That is great. That's top 10 player tonight. Hashtag SC top 10 for Travis Evie. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. Look at what we have right here. The clock never started, Nate. Oh! So how we are, you, that clock says 2.9 on your screen. That's what it says no. on the clocks here in the arena. So they will have to go to the replay and judge now based on whether that took 2.9 seconds or less. Oh my goodness. In the heat of the moment, you don't notice. You think it's going up as a buzzer beater. Oh, The clock gosh. never ran. The clock never started. So this goes from SC top 10 to not top 10 in a hurry. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that's awful. The clock didn't start. Part of, how, how does that happen? I don't know, sir. It's got to be within the 2.9 seconds. It's got to be within the 2.9. It's no way. That's got to be within the 2.9 seconds. It was one pass. Actually, pass the feeler. He dumps it off. It's good. It's good. After the video review. Oh, my goodness. If you're not at Tudor Fieldhouse tonight, you missed a great game. And we still have more to play. You are missing a great game. This is unbelievable. All. Travis Evie was our player to highlight tonight. And he comes up with one of the biggest shots of his career. This is top ten. Maybe at the next whistle we can go back, guys, and look at that in real time and see again that that did get off in 2.9. A buzzer beater without a buzzer. Right. Sixty-nine all. Extra time at Tudor Fieldhouse. Yeah, but every shot's going to have to count in this overtime because these guys right now, the adrenaline is really flowing, and you have to take advantage of every shot, every possession. Kobe Williams spins, 
drives in for Louisiana Tech. He just never gives up. He continues. He's like a bulldog. And LA, the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs, that's what he is. And, and certainly he's playing that way. Louisiana Tech takes the first lead of overtime. Give it up to Rice, though, because I'm telling you, they, they've learned how to win and hang in there. you got to make that shot, young fellow. This game's been tied 11 times, including at the end of regulation. We've had 14 lead changes. We don't get another one there. Fighting for the rebound between Hunter and Sheffield. Possession to Tech. Wow. Who wants it the most? Right now, Louisiana Tech's up by two. Rice better find an answer here in overtime. Because you don't want it to come down the way it came down in regulation. Crawford kicks it out to Williams. Ugh. Williams good from three. He's up to 18. Yeah, he found that shot. That's his average. He found that shot and knocked it down. And now they're up by five, Louisiana Tech. Plenty of time left in this game. Rice just needs to find some answers here very quickly. Don't need a three, you just need a basket. Break the drought. Left hand, no good, but he'll head to the line. Drew contact as he went up. And that was their game plan coming out. They came out that way. Uh, by the way, they came out that way attacking the basket. And you got to keep attacking the basket, especially in overtime. You got to draw some fouls. Guys aren't really in foul trouble yet for Louisiana Tech. But you got to draw some fouls. Got his free throws. Travis Evie hits the first one. That pulls Rice back within four. Woo! That five-point advantage, by the way, before the free throw was made, that was Tech's biggest lead of the night. Well, Rice has played lockdown defense, but so has Louisiana Tech. I mean, they are an aggressive team. I don't understand why their record isn't better. It's just about learning how to win in the end. And those guys almost got it done. Crawford working hard. Right hand off the glass. I'll tell you, man, this guy getting to the basket has not been a problem for him tonight. He knows how to get to the basket. And his size and the physical play, nature of his play has allowed him to do all of that. Sheffield oh. baseline loses control. Rice regains it, though. Sheffield ball in his hands again. Over to Fiedler for two. That's huge right there. You don't need a lot of threes. It's coming down to it. What you need is a miss on this end and a make on the other end. The Louisiana Tech, boy, I tell you, they, they have really, really impressed. Uh-oh. Threeston Willis. Willis has been money all night long from the three-point line. And right now, that's 18 he is for him, sir. Four of seven. Yep. Willis is six of 12 from the field, four of seven from beyond that three point line. He had in the two free throws, and he has 18 points tied for the team lead for Louisiana Tech alongside Kobe Williams. Travis Eby. At the free throw line, he's the leading scorer for the Owls. Got to make a count, though. You got to make a count. Here's why: the clock is not running. <laughs> okay, so you need to make sure you hit your free throws with the clock not running. Gives you a little bit of an advantage. But now you got to get a stop on the other end. If you're Rice, Louisiana Tech, they got to keep scoring. Evie came into the night with a points per game average of 15.2. And now, he's up to 24. Four-point advantage for the Bulldogs. Ooh. Kobe. He's been dangerous all night long. Here's Crawford, under 10 on the shot clock. Crawford continues to work hard inside. Doesn't get it to fall, but Tech will get a second chance. Huge rebound, especially with a minute 36 remaining. That clock is ticking, and you're up four. Oh! Kenny Hunter left all alone for the Monster Jam. They didn't see him. They did not see him. You're down by six. That was big. 
How do you hide? When you're six foot nine, how do you hide underneath the basket? How does that happen? Louisiana Tech getting it done, and look at Hunter all by himself for the jam. Tech leads by six. Its biggest lead of the night, Nate, six points, 81 to 75 over Rice in overtime. Yeah, Rice is down six with a minute 25. Though. That's a couple of threes, but the way Louisiana Tech has been scoring, they found their confidence, they found their rhythm. Rice is going to have to get some stops and hit some really, really big shots. But the guy who has been shooting well has been Evie. Where is Oliveri? Now is the time. Rice into Fiedler. Up and under. That's good. good. That's eight points for Fiedler to go along with 13 rebounds. Two seconds off the clock is all it took. Now, you know, Louisiana Tech's going to try to eat as much time off the clock as they can. No hurry when you're up by four. Not a big lead, though, as we just saw with Rice. One minute left in overtime. This is it. Ten nice. seconds on the shot clock. Nice Isaiah zone. Crawford versus Fiedler. Oh, turn around. No good. You got to get one here, and you need a stop. Evie pulls up from three. Got good. it. That's 27 points for Travis Evie, and the Owls are within one. Woo! <laughs> I'm loving this. Heck of a shot by that Travis Evie. With no hesitation, Chris. I'm talking about, no, he just pulled up and let's, let's knock it down. Let's see what happens here. And he knocks down the shot. He's on. He's on fire. His season high this season, 31 points against Western Michigan. Closing in on that with 27 40.7 seconds remain. Well, we talked about him a few days ago. This guy has found a fire. And he's a leader of this squad. He's hitting the big shots when, you know, the Owls need him. And right now, they need him. They're still down a point with 40 point seconds, 40.7 seconds left on the clock. So Louisiana Tech goes down the floor needing a shot, needing a bucket right now. And Rice... Let's see if they turn them over or if Louisiana Tech comes up with a big shot. Kobe Williams is the guy to watch. I think he's going to want the ball in his hand, in his hands, with 40.7 le uh, seconds left. How about some added significance from that last three-pointer from Evie? That's the 200th, wow, three-pointer of his career. That's amazing. 200th. At Rice alone. That's amazing. Not, not even counting his time at VMI. My goodness. Uh-oh. Drayvon Mangum. Quick pass to Crawford. That hurt. A three-point Louisiana Tech lead, and Isaiah Crawford can make it four. He is Patiently not going waiting to the, there. Yeah, he's only waiting, Nate. He was. He's not going to the free throw line tonight. Thirteen points for Crawford. That was a huge uh, point there. Twenty-five seconds left. Rice trails by four. Kobe Williams trying to knock it away, but he draws a whistle. Remember we talked about going to the free throw line when the clock isn't running? One of the biggest plays of the night. Travis Evey has to hit these two free throws. And if he does, it's going to come down to the Rice Owls defense getting a turnover. Or Louisiana Tech coming up with a huge shot. This game's not over. And you lose for Louisiana Tech. You lose Kobe Williams for the remainder of the ball game. That's foul number five. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. So your, now top, your top score, and not only that, really the anchor for the Bulldogs offensively and defensively. You'll be missing him the rest of the way. You got Willis. 
You got Willis shooting that three. And if, if it gets to a point where they're in desperation mode, you know what they're going to do. And Bullock. Willis and Bullock. Both can hit the big, the big shot. Got to hit them both. Travis Evie to the line. His team trailing by four. 21.9 seconds remain in overtime, and he misses the front end. Yeah, that's not good. So you got to hit this, and then you got to go full court press. You, you, you have no choice. 21.9 seconds left in the game. You need that turnover. You got to get it. Evie hits the back end. Rice within three. Hunter comes out in favor of Mangum. And Fiedler checks out in favor of Leeper. Yeah, they're going full court here, Chris. You, you, you have to. You got to get a turnover here quick. Crawford nearly lost the handle. Regains composure. Leapert and Sheffield go at him. It'll be Leapert getting the foul call against him as Crawford will head to the charity strike. That's why the overtime period is so critical. You have to be able to score and, 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 and keep the same type of intensity that you played with through regulation in overtime. Got to be able to match it with the opposition. Crawford is an 83% free throw shooter. Missing. Hunter there for the board, though. Intended play. They drew that play up on the, on the court side. No doubt about it. Hunter comes up with the big rebound. Hunter has 18 points. He's 0 for 1 at the free throw line. That's a season best, by the way. Previously, his high had been 16 against Stephen F. Austin. He misses. 13 seconds left. Got to have a three. Oliveri driving to the hole. Looking for the quick two instead. Draws contact and will head to the free throw line. Interesting strategy there, though, Nate. You thought for sure they would shoot from outside. But with 10 seconds left, Coach Scott Para and his ball club deciding let's get the quick two instead. I think they think they can press him and get a quick defensive basket on the other end, which is, you know, not, not a bad strategy at all if you can make that happen. But you got to be able to press. you got to be able to get a turnover, and it's a quick basket. Good on the first. Rice within two. You're going to have a shot to win it. You got to hit this one here. You got to get a turnover. Interesting on the substitution. Hunter out. Taryn Williams in. <laughs> Missing. And the board brought down oh. by Drayvon Mangum. That hurt. So Tech will head down to the free throw line with a two-point lead. Drayvon Mangum will take the shots, an 82% free throw shooter. This will be his first time to the line tonight. If Rice had gotten that rebound, you get the put back, you got a tie game. Yep. Didn't quite work out that way. Mangum good. Hit the front of the iron. Then the backboard and in. And Talvin Hester wants to talk this over before the second free throw shot. We talked about the problems Louisiana Tech has had away from Ruston this season. Two and five on the road, including losing the last three. And their first six conference game, Nate, Four of them on the road. The only team in CUSA saddled with that kind of schedule. That's true. Uh, but the, the way you handle that, you win a conference game on the road, a tough one. 
and and this is what makes a team and this is uh, again what makes a season for you as well they will always go if they win this game tonight they will always revert back and say hey remember that game at rice we won in an overtime against a team that hadn't lost a game at home and here's the other thing you got 9.5 seconds remaining there's a t three or four different scenarios here do you miss the shot intentionally and scramble for the basketball. Now, the only thing is you got to make sure that you rebound if you do that and kill the clock. Or do you make the shot and you're up by four? You're up by four. You make the shot, you're up by four. Rice only has 9.5 and change, maybe. Well, we saw Travis Evie even the score at the end of regulation. The bizarre buzzer beater without a buzzer. Do we have more drama in store over the final 9.5 seconds of overtime? Where's the outlet, man? Evie's got to be the outlet, man, for Fiedler. Three-point lead for Louisiana Tech turns into four. Oh, boy. A little more time was taken off that clock, I believe. There's a problem with the clock. Let's see what they say. The clock started... If I'm not mistaken there, four. Nate, that's what Coach Para is yelling about. Yeah. Obviously with a made there free throw. There it is. Throw. The clutch back up there. 9.5 is back up there. With a made free throw, it never should have ran. Yep. And now Fiedler set to inbounds. You got to hit a three and hope for a foul. His team <laughs> trailing by four. He can run the baseline. Here's Evie. He throws up the three, draws no contact, bang him there for the board. He'll get fouled, and Louisiana Tech will go to the line. 2.3 seconds left and a four-point advantage. Looks like they're going to go back to Rustin with a win. This was a, wow, this, 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 this I mean, it was a dogfight, if you will. And both these teams gave it all they had. Louisiana Tech made the shots they needed to make when they needed to make them. Rice Owls, it came out in the overtime, and, and, and that's when they needed to have the shots because you have a limited clock. You only have five minutes. Mangum successful, now a five-point La Tech lead. He'll make it six. Wow. And Louisiana Tech comes into Houston. And the Bulldogs have now won six straight over the Owls. They wanted it tonight. And Coach Hester talked about winning on the road. And now they are four and six on the road. So this is a team that, you know, obviously they, they had to have it. They played the type of basketball they needed to play. And they got the win, Chris. Heck of a game. Absolutely. Rice denied its six straight victory, but still on a great run here, having won 10 of the last 12. The Owls will now wait a week before hosting Middle Tennessee, while Louisiana Tech, this was a quick one-game road trip for them. They're back home on Saturday against UTEP. Yeah, I can imagine the Rice Owls going to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulders when Middle Tennessee comes to town. Believe that. These teams will see each other again on February 2nd. For Nate Griffin and our entire crew in Houston, my name's Chris Mykoski. Thanks for watching Conference USA Basketball on ESPN+.